Um, sure, most of you know the Dark Round the Edges story. Produced in 1972, discovered in the late 80s and re-released in America from LPs I got pressed here in 1990. Some of the excesses from those first pressings were bought by Kissing Spell, who also put out the first legitimate CD. I say legitimate because from those, many bootleg CDs were produced. Um, then Akama also put out an official LP reissue in 1998, but then, of course, went on to produce many illegal copies. Now, every so often, I'm contacted by record collectors who tell me that the pride of their collection is one of our original albums, in whatever sleeve their version happens to be. And this happened a, a few years ago when a collector on the continent told me he had two copies. Uh, one being a black and white single sleeve, but without a booklet. The other a colour gate fold with the booklet, but without the inside black and white sleeve photos. The gate fold came, apparently, with a note from Ron, our bass player, to the French collector who originally bought it and then sold it to this collector in 2005, saying that Ron had made it himself. Now, I was immediately suspicious because I know Ron didn't make any of the sleeves. However, as English was obviously not this guy's native language, I wondered if he was getting confused, so I asked him to send photos of the gatefold sleeve and the letter. He sent those, plus a photo of the LP and one of the booklet. The booklet and the record were obviously genuine, but the sleeve photos were certainly not from one of my original colour gatefolds. Uh, neither did the handwriting look like Ron's. I forwarded Ron the photo of the letter and, of course, he confirmed it most definitely was not his handwriting. Telling the collector of my concerns, I then asked if he would be prepared to send me the actual sleeve so that I could examine it in more detail. He agreed and once I received it, the instant I saw the sleeve, I knew it was fake. The photos were 12 inch by 12 inch. I never made any of that size. The sleeve was a true gatefold. I never made any of those. The ones I made were using a single sleeve with the card flap glued into the opening to fold over it. The goal photo was on the front of the sleeve, whereas with all of mine, the band shop was the front, if you opened it like a book. And the photos were obviously copies. I could tell that because the stipple of the original photo surface could be seen reflecting light in the top right hand corners. And adding to this the fact that there were no inside black and white photos led me to the conclusion that the photos were probably copied from one of the swank sleeves that I made back in 1990. For those I used the single sleeves that the LPs were supplied in and pasted 8 inch by 8 inch colour photos to the front and back. There were no booklets and no black and white photos, therefore, of course, they couldn't be copied. The original seller had obviously got hold of a black and white single sleeve version that had lost its booklet, so he faked the colour gatefold sleeve and pretended it was a band member selling it in order to inflate the asking price. As far as I know, he didn't offer any explanation as to why the inside photos were missing or the booklet, and the buyer was left with the impression that they had fallen off and all got lost. Once I pointed all this out to the buyer, of course he was very distraught. He had paid €10,000 for it, this was back in 2005, thinking it was an original. I, I felt quite bad for him, so I printed the missing inside black and white photos to complete his fake sleeve, and also made a completely new gatefold for him with the band shot on the front, girl on the back. Of course it couldn't be one of the 1972 originals, but it was an original Steve Giles sleeve. I also sent him one of the new lyric booklets that I had included with the 2017 special that I produced, um, so he could replace the one missing from the black and white single sleeve version he had. Although, of course, still very disappointed he had been scammed, he was very appreciative, and I was happy to do what I could for him.